YouTube has now given us the ability to change the thumbnail associated with our YouTube short, but there are some catches and things you need to know. So let's break this down for you. When we first had access to shorts, YouTube allowed us to upload any thumbnail just like we would with any other video, but then they took that ability away and chose a screen grab from our video to use in association with our shorts. A very long time has passed, we haven't been able to change anything or do anything, but now we have the ability to change which screen grab it is going to use as our thumbnail. Now, not everybody has this yet. This is a brand new feature, and as with all features on all social platforms, it usually takes a good long time to roll out. This could be days, weeks, months. Some people don't have features years after they are rolled out. If that is you, you just have to be patient. There's nothing you can do to force this. You can't report this as a glitch. It's not going to help you. You just have to wait for it to roll out. And I run multiple accounts here on YouTube. One of them has access to this feature. But yesterday when I posted, that account did not. My other accounts don't have access yet. So it's going to be a slower process to roll this out. If you don't see it yet, just know it's coming and actively watch for it. Now, in order to use this, you are going to have to post from your mobile phone. So you cannot upload this through your desktop and be able to do this. You are going to go into your YouTube app. You're going to upload your short like normal. And when you get to the page where you're adding in the title, now you have the ability to look where that screen grab is. Typically, it chooses this for you. But if you have access to this, and again, not everybody does yet, you will see a little pencil. If you're able to tap on the pencil, you can then scrub through your video and pick which screen grab you want to use as the thumbnail for your short. You cannot at this time go back and do this for older videos. It is only videos posted once you have that functionality on. So from that point, you are then able to decide moving forward which screen grabs you want in association with your thumbnail. Typically, you're going to want to use something like your first early screens with your titles on it. So if you're posting videos on YouTube and you have text on screen like you should for most things, you're going to want to have that kind of in the center of it. So be mindful of how you're creating your videos moving forward. Keep your text center or at least mostly center so that it's easier for people to see it. You don't want things up super high. You don't want things up super low if you want to be able to use this as a thumbnail for your video. Now, remember, these are mostly shown on your dedicated page or in the feeds as people are scrolling. They're not typically going to see too much of this thumbnail. So so it's not like it's a huge deal if you don't have active words on your screen, but be wise about the screen grab that you choose. You want something that accurate, accurately represents the video that you are going to be posting. We know when they were choosing it themselves, they would choose random things usually in the middle that didn't always make sense for your video, but this is your opportunity to level that up a little bit, make it a little higher end so that people can visually see a connection to what you are talking about and not just rely on the title to choose your video. Now, there are when, places and times when you should and shouldn't be using this. Again, not a feature that everybody has yet, but it is continuing to roll out. So I will be providing updates to this in the comments. Always check the pinned caption comments first, the caption itself, and then check the responses to other people's comments as well, where there are lots of updates if you need them. But if you've got questions, go ahead and drop them. And YouTube is actually bringing even more new features to shorts. So we've got lots of recent tutorials on this, but we're doing a compilation video too of all the things you need to be aware of and how to use them. So follow along for more and follow along for daily tips and tricks on how you can level up on social media to make this your most profitable year ever with less time involvement, less stress so that you can live your best life, add more luxury time to your business while your business is working on your behalf and making you money. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.